Recently people have been suggesting to make underused operators like Capcan or Blitz 2 armor and 2 speed in order to make them more useful. While on the surface it may seem like a good idea, it would do nothing to fix the underlying issue. It would basically boil down to buffing selective operators that the community prefers or deems worthy for some reason. All the while acknowledging that heavy operators are basically useless in Siege and dooming the remaining ones to be picked even more rarely than they already are. Poor Tachanka. What if we instead just consider to lower the speed penalty the heavy operators get? As it stands right now, heavy operators can take significantly more damage, but in a game that is ruled by headshots, this rarely helps at all. And apart from this, they get all the disadvantages. They have a much bulkier appearance and therefore a bigger head and they're easier to see when rounding corners because their limbs stick out further. Additionally, everything you do is also significantly louder. Walking, changing stance or even just turning seems to be easily twice as loud as for a high speed operator. All while being slower too. And honestly that's the worst part indeed, the snail like movement speed. It makes peeking a losing game. It negates any possible peeker's advantage you might have. It makes you even easier to hit and it makes flanking nigh impossible for you. So as a free armor operator, currently you get a benefit that would be useful if this game did not have a one shot headshots across the board. For all the downsides, bigger models, much louder when moving, way too slow. So how could this be fixed? Just changing them to be medium operators like suggested in the reddit threads I showed earlier would defeat the entire purpose of having heavy operators to begin with. Sure, Capcan and Blitz are now useful. But what about Glass, Montagne, Fuse and especially Tachanka? Are you going to make them all 2 armor 2 speed? If you just change heavy armor operators to be medium operators, aren't you basically just saying that heavy operators are useless? Let's instead try to fix the heavy operator concept itself. One way to improve them would be to make their models appear less bulky, therefore making them harder to hit. Honestly though, I think this would be a very inefficient solution and is not very likely to happen at this point. Another way would be to lower the volume of noise they make when moving, which would be a significant improvement, but not necessarily a game changer. Another seemingly obvious suggestion would be to make the heavier head armor actually count, possibly making them survive more than one headshot. I think this would be a pretty lazy way of balancing and would also water down the core principles Rainbow Six is based on, namely being a tactical, one life and one shot headshot based game. So all in all I think the most reasonable way to bring them in line is just to make them move faster, lowering the speed penalty the heavy armor gives you. It would give them a fighting chance when peeking an enemy around a corner, it would allow them to actually flank enemies in time. Or if you're playing them on the objective, at least give you a chance to dodge shots by being able to strafe quicker. From my experience in pretty much any shooter, at higher levels of play, being agile and nimble becomes more important than anything else. Heavy operators in Rainbow Six are the exact opposite, while only gaining a tiny advantage for all the disadvantages they get. Let's make them slightly quicker. Let's make them actually competitive with the other operators. Good job, good job, good job, good job, good job.